You called the flex on me? You little jerk! <laughs> Wait, what? There's an expected a reflection like police force? <laughs> that's that's pretty funny. What's up guys? It's Selavithin and we are back with another reaction today. Today we are continuing the weird ass show Infinity Train. I'm still trying to figure out what the heck's going on, but we are on episode 7 titled the chrome car now last episode was um the unfinished car we um we got to go into that car see a bunch of like weird zany things happening and stuff like that we saw a bunch of unfinished houses a bunch of unfinished stuff weird puddles weird solutions to like very easy problems you know what i mean and then there was a bunch of turtles there for some reason don't know why there was turtles but there was turtles Anyway, 1-1 one, one cannot stand all this chaos, you know what I mean? So it starts trying to like repair some of the mess that's going on in the unfinished car. But then it turns out that stuff is actually messing up with the equilibrium of the unfinished car. And then things kind of go a little bit weird. We get to see something up with 1-1 one, one where um, it's compelled to fix things. So I think 1-1's one, at least those machines were the ones who ended up creating, I guess, the Infinity Train. Or something like that or the cars and um, I think they know what how they're, it's supposed to look and when it looks like the unfinished car I guess it just it bothered one one I guess and then once tulip helped one one fix like stop like fixing everything because it was like messing up the whole uh, car itself it didn't remember it did any of that so pretty weird episode I'm looking forward to seeing what happens in this episode uh, I like the fact that it's like 10 minute intervals for these uh, episodes. It's a lot easier to digest and the story itself is um, a lot more structured. You know what I mean? Even though it's weird and zany, it doesn't try to be convoluted and try to make things overly complicated. It's kind of straightforward, but at the same time has that nice little hint of mystery, which is why I, I believe it's pretty popular. I mean, it's on its, it finished its fourth season recently and I think it got renewed for a fifth. I'm not sure. But we'll see. Anyway, we're gonna get started with this. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And turn on notifications down below so you know when I upload next. And make sure you also check out that Patreon link down below for full uncut reactions of this show and many and other things such as movies, animes, TV shows, and other reactions that you might not uh, find on YouTube. You know what I mean? Like, Patreon, there are some things there that, that will eventually go on YouTube, but there's a lot more shows and stuff like that that are kind of there way ahead of time. So you should check out the link for that. It'll be worth it because there's a lot of content there, a lot more than there is on YouTube <laughs> at the very least. Um, but anyway, with that, we're going to get started with Infinity Train, Episode 7, titled The Chrome Car. Let's go. Why are there so many cars where I end up picking stuff out of my hair? You're killing me. Here, let me help. Man, that'd be annoying, yo. There's a full-on, like, uh, jelly bean stuck in his fur. <laughs> it's like a skating rink, but with mirrors. It's like a vain person skating rink. Why is everything chrome? Everything is chrome in the future. Man, do you guys remember... Whoa! No, I don't remember. Whoa! Yo, that's My creepy, man. Her reflection literally was doing something different. Change. Completely New different. Haircut. Are your reflections broken too? I'm not broken. Whoa! You're alive? Those work differently in this car. I have to be the one to open them with you as my reflection. Wait, that's such that's such a lie. That's such a lie. She's trying to switch places with her and try to have the reflection be real. That's not true. That guy over there didn't donate. That's still you, Peter. Oh. Well, if I gotta donate, he's gotta donate too. Yo, get in here! Ha <laughs> ha, shaka! Son of a bitch! Then we can cross the barrier into each other's world. I don't know about this world switching business. Nah, this is well, some bullshit, man. This, this two loves literally lying me, to her, man. This is a demon boring. now. Real Three! <gasps> Tulip, are you alright? Yeah, it's just colder? That's how we switch back. I didn't say I was going to switch back. <gasps> I haven't come this far on the train to get bamboozled by my own reflection. <laughs> I swear, the way she said that, man, it was like the most shocking thing they've ever heard. <laughs> I don't have to eat your stupid onions anymore. Ooh, I'm gonna 
explore the world on my own. I'm gonna touch a tree or like smell something. Oh. Hi. Oh, it's like the complete opposite of yourself. You okay, that actually makes a lot world? of sense. Never mind. So her reflection is completely the opposite of her, his reflection, and, and vice versa before. and everything. You called the flex on me? You little jerk! <laughs> Wait, what? There's an expected a reflection like police force? <laughs> that's, that's pretty funny. <laughs> yes, I think. Door arrest me. She said I had to switch to open the door. No need to explain. Crack reflections. They're called slivers. Get it? We're gonna have to go above. So get I don't get what that means though. What is a cracked reflection? Yo, these guys are pretty cool though. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> what are you doing with her? She doesn't want to be around for this. If your reflection doesn't turn herself in, we'll find her and we'll polish her down to a pile of nothing. That shatter, that sliver, is not a person. She exists to reflect your existence. And if she isn't serving that purpose, then we'll make sure she doesn't exist at all. Yo, yo, these guys are like some badass characters, not gonna lie. <laughs> They're like, yo, she doesn't do what she's supposed to be doing. <sighs> she gonna die. Stay here and keep them distracted. <laughs> Stop. That sliver just doesn't hold the rules yet. Suit up. Yo, are they able to go through this threshold? Oh my god, is it because they're not actually real, like, like creatures or whatever, and they don't have reflections? Yeah, this thing was not gonna be able to leave, hey, man, man. I can help you. As long as you're a, re a reflection, funny, man, you're you're you. stuck huh? where you are. What is that supposed to mean? Text from Michaela, pretending you couldn't hear mom because sorry, I was just so busy making my game. Just go away, Tulip. That's what you do best. Want those mirror police to hurt you? Who cares what they do to me? I can't step outside. There aren't any reflective surfaces out there. <laughs> I don't even have a name. Like, I want to feel for this character, but I know she's, like, very insignificant and does not matter at all. She's gonna go back to where she's supposed to go. We're melting people! So, what's new with you? Here goes the sliver! We gotta go! Ready? Ready! Now! You're your own reflection! You're your own reflection. That's trippy. That That's like some reflectionception, man. Oh man. Ugh, yeah. This is such a boring car to see first. Are you kidding? This is so cool! Thanks, Tulip. Well, I'm glad I was able to help you. Now, come on. We better keep moving. Nah, hard pass. I spent my whole existence yeah, I had a, I had a feeling this thing was gonna going stay here. Now. You know what I mean? Good luck, Tulip Prime. Good luck, Mirror. Well, good luck to you. Whoever you turn out to be. I don't know. Oh no, what? Three? Yo, that's crazy. The number went down so crazy. So that was Infinity Train Episode 7, The Chrome Car. Great episode, great episode. We got to see um, that weird thing. I'm gonna keep calling it a thing because I'm not, I refuse to call it a re reflection of Tulip personified, okay? It's a thing, all right? That's why I keep calling it a thing because that's all it is. It has no soul, okay? It's, it's legitimately made from her. So... That episode was cool. We got to see what the reflection was doing, but more interesting or not were the um, reflection police. Those guys were, were, were kind of entertaining. I wish I, we got to see more of them, honestly. Because they, they, they were direct. They're like, yo, if a reflection ain't doing what it's doing, it ain't it ain't doing its job. It needs to, it needs to die kind of thing. So I thought that was, that was pretty cool. Um... It seems that Tulip now has advanced so far to the point where her um, her number has dropped down to three. So that's going to be very interesting. I really would want to know what that initially means. But since I guess she shed a, a lot of herself right there, I think it's like I said before, I think it's um, her trying to accomplish some things and, and goals of like finding herself in the train and then trying to figure out like how close she can get to the actual like conductor car. You know what I mean? But whatever. Anyway, with that though, I'm going to call it a day. I will see you guys around. Hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Stay safe. Bye.